Labor Scenarios The Labor tab is used to control and monitor the intrapartum portion of childbirth simulation using labor scenarios. A labor scenarios program to control Noel's precision delivery system and the vital signs for the mother and fetus. GIGA includes more than 30 specialized labor scenarios in the Quick Start Noel and Noel Advanced profiles. To access the pre-programmed labor scenarios, click the Load button near the top of the Labor tab. The large pre-programmed labor scenario library includes ready-to-use scenarios to simulate normal labor and delivery, shoulder dystocia, cord complications, preeclampsia, and C-section, among other common or rare complications. Select a scenario from the list to view a short description and patient history. After the scenario is selected, click Load to continue. Each pre-programmed scenario is configured with the settings and pallet items needed to simulate a particular exercise. However, the operator is capable of editing the scenario's configuration to meet a specific need and to expand the scenario library. The descent curve on the labor graph controls the movement of the fetus throughout the labor and delivery. To edit the rate of descent, simply drag any of the points on the line to a new position. The vertical axes at both ends of the graph are marked with the approximate fetal station. The timeline below the labor graph stores the pallet items that update the mother and fetus's condition throughout the labor. To edit or view the pallet item's properties, right-click the pallet item to access the item options. Noel's precision delivery system rotates the fetus during the labor to simulate the internal and external rotations. Before the labor scenario is started, always ensure that the initial position selected on the fetal position menu matches the position of the fetus inside the abdomen. If the fetus orientation is not synchronized, click the half circles to rotate the fetus to the position setting selected on the menu. Noel's precision delivery system is capable of retracting the fetus to simulate a shoulder dystocia complication. To pre-program the shoulder dystocia feature, Checkmark the shoulder dystocia option and set the fetal station for the dystocia to begin. Once the labor progresses past the fetal station specified, a visible turtle sign will occur with every contraction until the end of the delivery. After the participants perform the maneuvers required to facilitate the delivery, Click the Release button to disengage the fetus. The labor duration refers to the simulated length of the labor scenario. To simulate a full-length labor scenario in a fraction of the time, click the plus or minus buttons to adjust the speed of the labor progress without affecting the simulated length of the labor scenario. In this example, the labor speed allows the operator to complete a simulated 30-minute labor in approximately two real-time minutes. Before starting a labor scenario, please refer to the how-to portion of this video for a complete walkthrough, including setting up, monitoring, and completing a delivery. Once Noel is prepared for simulation and all the settings and options are configured, click the play button to start the labor scenario.